Thomas Hutchinson was the uh, governor of the Massachusetts colony before the American Revolution. Um, and he was sort of the scapegoat and uh, a lot of the blame for um, different taxes and um, sort of uh, embargoes and what have you. Uh, imposed by the British found their way to Hutchinson, eh, rightfully so in some regards. Um, there were plenty of conspiracies about uh, his dealings with with London and um, you know what all that and uh, their attempts to limit colonial rights. Um, it was also said that some of the ships uh, that were uh, had the tea thrown off them during the Boston Tea Party uh, belonged to Hutchinson. So he had a bit of economic skin in the game, so to speak. Um, basically, the actions of Hutchinson were seen as, as harsh. He did punish the colonies for uh, events such as the, the Boston Tea Party. And uh, it, can be, it can certainly be argued that his actions um, sort of uh, expedited the course of war, brought about the, uh, the American Revolution in a much more timely manner. And I think it's relevant that uh, the American Revolution began at Lexington and Concord, uh, which were in the Massachusetts colony. Um, also, you could make a very strong case that Thomas Hutchinson sort of did what he thought he should do under the situation, under the uh, under the situation, and um, you know, did his best as governor. And the cards were sort of stacked against him. I, I honestly believe that even with somebody else besides Hutchinson. Uh, running the show for the Massachusetts colony, that uh, rebellion would eventually broke out uh, regardless. I, I think the conflict was sort of imminent. Now, I'm not sure if his actions expedited the process uh, or not. I'd argue they probably did, but um, I don't believe that you can uh, blame the American Revolution on uh, one individual like Thomas Hutchinson. I, I think it was sort of, um, sort of a combination of, of many factors. And was was eminent uh, at the time when it began. Uh, thank you.